The easiest way to speed up your design workflow in Canva is by getting used to some of the keyboard shortcuts available in Canva. And in this video, I'm going to expose you to 30 Canva keyboard shortcuts you didn't know. And to make this even more interesting, all these shortcuts are going to be grouped into four categories. We have the basic shortcuts, element shortcuts, video shortcuts, and text edit shortcuts. And before we get into it, I just want to clear this whole Windows Mac section. So these are some of the keys. Okay, so Control is Command if you are on Mac. Alt is Option if you are on Mac. Backspace is Delete. Enter is returned. I just want you to know because I am a Windows person and sometimes these Mac keys get to confuse me. I just understand. The first shortcut to getting better at Canva is subscribing to this channel because this will help you get better at using Canva. You learn everything you need to know and like this video if you're finding it helpful. So yes, I am ready. Let's jump straight into it. So starting with the basic shortcut, we have the CTRL and this is what they do. Pressing C in your design, just add a circle. Okay, now pressing T on your keyboard adds a text, arrow adds a square or a rectangle, and L adds a line. So these are the first four shortcuts you should know. Now to embed a link in your text or in your element, we'll use Ctrl K. Okay, so then I can just say www.mylink.com. Okay, then enter. So you can see now we have link added, and it's the same for this as well. Ctrl K, then we can add in the link www.mylink.com. Adding a new page is very easy because the only thing you need to do is to press Ctrl plus Enter. Okay, so let's say we wanted to add a new page. All we need to do is to do Ctrl plus Enter. And we can see we have page two in here. Deleting the page is very easy. Ctrl plus Delete. Okay, and we can see the page has been deleted. Instead of now going to click, 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 Ctrl, Enter, Ctrl, Delete is all you need to know. Now, adding images in your Canva docs is very easy. To do this, all you need to do is to make sure you're pressing Shift and your colon or semicolon. Add I really am not sure what the name is, but what you see on your screen is what you have to press or write. So that is how to add, you know, images and you can choose any of the images of your choice and it gets added to your document. And when it comes to activating your Canva assistant, there are two ways you can do it. The first thing is by pressing your forward slash. Okay, that should pull it up. And we also have the control E. So control E should also pull all of it up for you. Then you can search for anything. So I can just search for circle and, you know, it has to be added in here for me. I, Instead of clicking, you just press on these keys and it makes designing in Canva so much easier. So let's put the basic shortcut aside and now let's move on to the element shortcut. What are some of the shortcuts you should get used to? The first one is Ctrl G. Okay, so Ctrl G simply groups elements. So Ctrl G, we can see our element has been grouped. Then we have Ctrl Shift G, which is to ungroup this element. Then if I wanted to duplicate, you know, any of my elements, Ctrl D would help me to duplicate the element. And let's say I place this one on top and I was like, mm, I don't really feel like this should be on top it should be behind all i can do is to make sure my text is selected Control plus the open square bracket sends any element backward and Control plus the closing square bracket brings any element forward and you can see it's very nice how we can do this easily instead of clicking 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 now if we stack a lot of elements okay so let me put this here and let me change the color to this let me put this here also let me change the color to that and i'll delete this and bring this here and i'll change the color as well Okay, so let's say I wanted to move this all the way to the back instead of now having to send it backward one by one. So all I can do is to press Alt, Control, then the open square bracket and we sent it all the way to the back. To prove it, let's come into layer and come to show layers. You can see it's at the back. So now let's do the same for this. So Alt, Control, open square bracket, sent it all the way to the back and bring it on forward is Alt, Control, then the closing square bracket. And you can see everything gets to be moving nicely. So how about the case where you want to tidy up all your element making sure they are nicely arranged how can you do this in canva using the shortcut so this is how to do it first of all i'll select all my element and i'll just press my alt shift t and we can see how it's tidied up our element nicely for us this is very very nice and when i have this and i want to move on here without clicking all i can simply do is to press my tap 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 nice 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 <laughs> so i hope you're enjoying this so far if you really enjoyed it make sure you're smashing on the like button okay Okay, so there are days where you want to actually manually select an element behind. Okay, so if this element was stuck on top and I wanted to select this, okay, but I wasn't able to reach it easily like I'm reaching it now, what I can do is I can press and hold my control 
and keep clicking okay and while i do that we can see i've now been able to select the yellow circle at the back this is how to do it in canva let's put this aside and let's move on to the video shortcuts canva has now made it very easy to edit videos and to make your video editing seamless one of the things is getting used to the shortcuts like i mentioned earlier so what are some of the shortcuts we have in canva let's check them out so this is my first video and let's just play the video you can see you can't even hear anything because i have muted it so the shortcut to mute or unmute your audio is m okay so i can select my video and press m now you can hear it if i select and press m again my video is muted okay so this is how to do that in canva anyway let me just delete this off because that's not the important one the other shortcut is to split videos okay so if let's say we wanted to use the shot but you can realize this shot is so long what we can simply do is make sure we have our timer anywhere and press s which will easily split the videos for us then we can delete it out of there all right now so let's say we're editing this video and i didn't want any edit to be done to this video anymore because i'm done editing all i can just do is to press alt shift l and we can see it's locked when it comes to editing it's locked you can't really do anything about it and the last one which is a very simple one to play and pause your video is just pressing your space bar okay so pressing your space bar plays and pauses your video this was very easy i'm sure you really found it very easy now moving on to the next category i deem to be my favorite part the text edit shortcuts okay and this is very simple and nice so let's check them out this is the text we have in here and we'll be using this for every demonstration okay so to make this all caps all i have to do is to press shift control then k and we can see everything is all caps lovely javelin and if we want to align this to the left all we simply do is control shift l which moves it to the left to center it control shift c okay and to right align it control shift arrow and we can see it keeps moving according to how we want it to move and to decrease your font by one okay what we are simply going to press is shift control and comma okay so you can see while we keep pressing the comma we are reducing our text and if you want to increase the size sh the same shift control and your full stop will keep increasing the size okay or the font size now to decrease line spacing so let's say i have another line in here i'll just select all and just to be able to reduce the line spacing all you're simply going to do is to press alt control and down okay so you can see we are reducing it and up would also increase it so we can see what we have over here now let's say we wanted to view or we've downloaded this i wanted to view every single thing we have downloaded all we need to do is to press ctrl shift j which shows us everything we have downloaded so far and yes thank you so much for watching up to this point before you go i have compiled all of these shortcuts in the description box below if you are also using the free version of canva there's a link in there to start using canva pro for free so check them out and start using them today i'll see you in the next video.